Hey, what's going on, everyone? Josh Guerrero here, and welcome to another awesome episode of the All Around Adventure Podcast. Whether you're joining me for the first time or if you've been listening for a while now, I certainly do want to welcome you here. And as always, I want to thank you for being here today. I know you're busy. I know you got a lot going on. There's also a lot out there on the internet these days that's trying to get your attention and distract you. But this means the world to me that you've chosen to download and listen to this podcast. Now, if you are, in fact, new to this podcast and you're not entirely sure what we're all about here, is the show where you hear amazing tales from afar and get the all-important life lessons that go along with them. And those will be stories from myself, as well as the fantastic guests that I welcome on the show. And that's done on my regular show, actually, which is, of course, an interview show. I also have the blog readings, which is a solo episode where I just, exactly how it sounds, I just read my blog posts, both past and present, for you to have an audio format on the go. And the third show that I have is the one that you just so happen to be listening to right now or watching on YouTube, and this is your Wisdom Wednesday, where I just talk for maybe about... I'd say like five, six, seven minutes, somewhere around there, uh, just going over a single topic pertaining to either self-development or a travel tip or some other topic pertaining to travel in some way. And so that's what I'm going to be uh, sharing with you all today. I got one topic that I want to cover, and that is the topic of self-limiting beliefs. Now, I thought about this just the other day. I um, had... Google notification come through on my phone and it was showcasing some of the pictures that I took a few years ago. And they were pictures from when I was in England and after I had just walked across the stage at graduation at the University of York to receive my master's degree in field archaeology. And sometimes I ponder on moments like that in my life and I'm like, huh, I actually did do that. I actually did um, achieve it. But before I actually achieved those things, I wasn't really instilled with a great amount of confidence that I was feeling in the moment. Uh, for instance, uh, before I actually left uh, for York, and or even when I was contemplating even applying to go study there, I did have a lot of self-limiting beliefs. I thought to myself, am I smart enough to actually pull this off? Do I have what it takes to complete a master's degree program? And I was an elementary education major. It's like, do I have what it takes to pick up archaeology within a year's time? Because I had never studied archaeology or anthropology um, before. Well, I have, but not really to quite that length. So I had a lot of uh, self-limiting beliefs, and I had a lot of doubt, and quite frankly, I had a lot of fear. So I would tell myself, yeah, Josh, you're not smart enough. You're not this enough. You know, you're not whatever. You're not enough. You're just simply not enough to do this. And, but I had to change that way of thinking if I, because I knew that that's what I wanted to achieve. You know, I wanted to earn my master's degree. I wanted to pursue that career path in archaeology. So I knew I had to change my mindset and I had to change that internal dialogue that I had in my head. What was I telling myself? And all the things that I was telling myself were all just very destructive. So I had to change that right away. So instead of saying, you're not good enough this, that, blah, 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 I instead say, Josh, you got this, you are good enough, you are strong enough, and you can go and you can do this. Or as one of my loved ones once said to me one time, go fuck shit up. (laughs) Because the words that we tell ourselves are very powerful. If we tell ourselves that we're no good, ultimately that's going to become our reality. Now, it's okay to acknowledge that things are going to be challenging, especially the things that we want to set out to achieve that we think are with are far with outside of our reach. They, they, we're going to run into obstacles along the way. We're going to run into failures. And of course, this is just my example of me pursuing an educational journey. Maybe you're starting a fitness journey. Maybe you're looking to get a promotion at work, which is going to come with additional responsibilities. All of these things are going to come with challenges. And it's okay to acknowledge that those challenges exist. But instead of saying that we're, we're not strong enough to handle those challenges, we can say, all right, it's going to be tough, but I know I can persevere. I know I can learn what I need to learn, and I know I can crush anything that comes in front of me. Or as I also say, go fuck shit up. <laughs> all right, so remember, what you say in your head is very powerful. And as Bruce Lee once put it, and I absolutely love this quote, it's one of my favorites, he once said, as you think so shall you become. And I'll just go ahead and I'll leave it up there. Let me go ahead and wrap this up. I want to thank you very much again for tuning in. I hope you found this uh, beneficial. And let me know what you think. Leave me a comment down below if you are watching on YouTube or connect with me over on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and and Instagram. Um, I'm on Facebook and Instagram at All Around Adventure. And I'm on Twitter at All Around Advent. 
So don't have the URE at the end of my username there. So let me know what you think. And also give me some suggestions. If there are certain topics that you'd like to hear in these Wisdom Wednesday segments, you know, let me know. And I'll definitely try to see how I can fit them in because I, you know, the show is for you all. After all, I mean, I'm doing this because I want to provide value in your life. And so please, by all means, reach out to me and let me know how I can accomplish that. So thank you very much uh, for tuning in. And I guess maybe the last thing I'll ask, you know, just also leave a rating review. Um, if you have a few minutes, only takes a couple minutes of your time. But those ratings and reviews, I tell you what, everyone, they go such a long way to getting the word out about this podcast. So that way more people can find it and get some value from it as well. Also, you can also show your support by subscribing wherever you might be listening to this podcast. I'm pretty sure I'm out there on all the major podcasting platforms, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, you name it, I should be there. So feel free uh, to subscribe on your favorite podcast directory. And once again, I just thank you very much for tuning in. I know your time is very important and it just means so much to me that you've chosen to download and listen to you know what I had to say today. And be sure to check back in uh, this Saturday. I have uh, another episode featuring another fantastic guest. So tune in for that when it goes live. And But until then, though, I'm Josh Guerrero saying be safe, happy travels, and always move forward. <laughs>